But first, as you can see the breaking news on your screen, it is official. Let's go live to Vinnie O'Connor, who can break the news for us. Vinnie, tell us what's happened. It's yeah, become sure. official. Yes, Sean Dyche has finally been confirmed as Everton's new manager. It was the news we were expecting. We, of course, brought it to you on Friday afternoon. We've had to wait a bit of a long time for it to be announced officially, but Everton have just released a statement. In it, they say Everton Football Club can confirm the appointment of Sean Dyche as the club's new men's senior team manager. Dyche has agreed a two-and-a-half-year contract until June 2025 and will take charge for the first time for the Blues Premier League clash against Arsenal at Goodison Park on Saturday the 4th of February. He brings with him Ian Wohan as his assistant manager, ex-England international Steve Stone as first team coach and Mark Howard who will support the provision of sports science. All three members of staff of course previously worked with Sean Dyche at Burnley and there are quotes from Sean Dyche as well. In this statement he says, it is an honour to become Everton manager. My staff and I are ready and eager to help get this great club back on track. I know about Everton's passionate fan base and how precious this club is to them. We're ready to work and ready to give them what they want. That starts with sweat on the shirt, effort and getting back to some of the basic principles of what Everton Football Club has stood for for a long time. We want to bring a good feeling. We need the fans, we need unity and we need everyone aligned. That starts with us as staff and players. Our aim is to put out a team that works, that fights and wears the badge with pride. The connection with the fans can then grow very quickly because they're so passionate. There is quality in this squad, but we have to make them shine. That's the job of me and my staff. We want to change the shape of this club going forward, remodel it in our style, but in a way that we can win. That's the task in front of us. Make sure we're building tactically and technically, giving players organisation, Allow them the freedom to play, to go and enjoy their football because it's brilliant when the team's playing with a smile, but we've got to win. There are also quotes in the statement from Everton chairman Bill Kenwright. He says in it, Kevin and I spent some valuable time with Sean over the past few days and he quickly convinced me that he has, the, that he has I should say, exactly the right attributes to make himself a great Everton manager and a man who could inspire our fan base and far have felt the same when he met him too. So good news for Everton, it is confirmed and Sean Dyche not only confirmed as the new manager but also due to take Everton training at half past two this afternoon. OK, so Vinny is going to hit the ground running, isn't he? Um, look, he's taking over a club 19th in the Premier League. What do you think are his priorities? He says he wants to change the shape of the club but what's his main priority, do you think? Well, first and foremost is to start picking up points that can start moving Everton away from those relegation spots in the Premier League and turn round a run of form that has seen them lose eight of their last ten in all competitions. I think they've only scored ten goals in that time as well. So it's about creating chances, uh, I suppose getting the best out of players once again, inspiring someone like Dominic Calvert-Lewin to find his best form once more, become that goal threat we all know he can be that took him, of course, into the England setup, uh, and also provide that physical threat up front. We know what uh, a focal point of the attack that Dominic Calvert-Lewin can be as well. Also, I suppose, start eliminating those mistakes at the back that have hampered Everton in recent weeks. We've uh, seen them concede a number of goals, uh, notably the 4-1 the defeat at home to Brighton, of course, but even going further back to before the World Cup and the uh, the two games down at Bournemouth where they lost uh, in the Cup and in the Premier League by an aggregate uh, of seven goals to one. So uh, there's a lot in terms of the form that he needs to sort out, but also as well, you'd be looking for reinforcements in what remains of this transfer window. Everton have been unsuccessful so far in adding to that squad. We know that Frank Lampard wanted to bring in two extra attacking options during this window. He wasn't able to do that, and Everton have also lost Anthony Gordon on top of that as well. So we're wondering whether we could see at least two or three new faces in, and that would be a good start for Sean Dyche as well. Yeah, it would, Vinny. I mean, in terms of that, you know, like say you've got a day and a half left of this window. Do you think he will be given money? Is that likely for him? I think so. I think because there has been a bit of money raised from the sale of Anthony Gordon and some of that can be utilised to move in the transfer window as well. Don't forget Kevin Thelwell, the director of football here, will have had a list of players and I'm sure that over the weekend or so that he's been working in tandem with Sean Dyche to identify the best options, uh, the kind of options that Sean Dyche feels can play to the way he wants Everton to play in the coming weeks as well. I think one of the other things that Sean Dyche will be looking to do somewhat is simplify the game plan, make it a little bit easier for those players 
And in some ways, I suppose, the next game against Arsenal, there'll be little expectation on the group of players here. So they've got a bit of a free hit at that. Then, of course, comes the Merseyside derby, and that's never a free hit for anyone mm -hmm. in an Everton shirt. So it's a tough start for Sean Dyche, but at the same time, it seems, from what he says in that statement, that it's one he's relishing. Just final question, Vinny. You're on the ground very much so. You know, you've been there almost like the whole week. What would you say? To, what would you think this will say to the fans? Will this appease them in any way that Sean Dyche is now their man in charge? I think what what the fans will like is that the values that Sean Dyche talks about that will certainly resonate with Evertonians. The the hard work ethic, the team spirit, and I, I suppose, but you know, playing at, at playing at, at pace, getting the ball forward quickly, playing off second balls and, and creating chances as well. If Evertonians are seeing that and seeing that hard work ethic, they will respond to that. And that's when the atmosphere inside Goodison Park in particular uh, really pumps up. I mean, don't forget as well the incredible travelling support uh, that Everton have as well. So that's something that will inspire Sean Dyche as well. And he in turn will be hoping that he and his players will be able to inspire the fans somewhat to create those kind of special atmospheres uh, that we've seen in terms of appeasing them over the whole complaints that they have about the running of the football club at the moment I don't think that will be the case I think that mood will certainly continue uh, moving forward they do want to see changes and so until they see a proper plan in place uh, and uh, a plan that means how they're going to move forward in terms of recruitment in terms of the, the style of play in terms of the academy as well and seeing it as I suppose a style of play coming right through the youth ranks into the first team as well it all playing the, the same way until they see that kind of plan in place then I think there's still going to be a lot of rumblings about the way the football club is run